Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? How you guys doing, man? A little first wave action here with a little bit of Colorado action. That's so exciting, man. I hope you guys are. Let me, uh, let me cut that down there a little bit there. I feel like I just like bam right in your face. So hope you guys are doing well, man. It's good to see everybody in here a little uh, early stream tonight. Well, I'm at 930. Uh, I got some things done out of the way, so I'm good to go. Uh, and then we will be on color. I'm so excited about this. I I've said a lot of things, and I I'm going to say more about this, especially for you guys here joining us as well as those guys that will be joining us later. So uh, I'll try to timestamp if anybody's still uh, catching in. I know live streams are weird to rewatch, but um, hopefully anyway, we'll do good. You guys, uh, let you let your boys know we're streaming tonight. If you want to share it out on Facebook pages, maybe they'll come. Maybe they won't. doesn't really matter. Uh, but let's go ahead and do some shout-outs to everybody out here. Patrick D, good to see you, man. JV, what's up, man? Dwayne Boss, Dwayne Snyder, D-Mile, what's up, man? Joey Texas Trucker, good to see you there, buddy. Hope you're doing good, man. Eddie Atkins, what's up, man? Give these guys in green some shout-out here for uh, sponsoring the streams. So thank you, guys. John522, Robert Shipley. Uh, Bear, what's going on, buddy? Hope you're doing well, man. Peter McLeod in the house. Speeder, what's up, man? Looks like he's back home. Who's the leak, too? Z Bullet 213. Good to see you guys. Andrew M in the house. I saw Timbo. Nathan's in there. Uh, Thunderwolf 5150. Good to see you, man. Scroll back up here and see who else. Uh, Cecil Sims is in here. Merc Brian King. Man, it's good to see a bunch of green names in here, man. Pomp Tyler 21. B9 Bot. Gamer Bro. Uh, I don't think I missed anybody, but if, if I did, I'll try and get it. Worldwide, what's going on, man? Good to see you, man. Grease Monkey Motors, what's up? Coop Justice Smith. Rich, good to see you, man. Mr. Post, man. Cooney, what's up? B9, uh, G Truck Boy, what's up, man? Uh, it's Hosein, what's up? Everett, good to see you, man. Uh, Makalavulo, what's up, man? Callie, Rick, yeah, hey, what's up, man? Good to see you. Venom, Gamer, 561. Good to see you, buddy. That's that's my borderline Batman Venom impersonation there. John James, what's up, buddy? Good to see you. Reese 2K, what's up, man? Jay Stanley, good to see everybody, man. It's good to see new names coming in the stream as well, man. Hope you guys are doing well. What's up, son? What's up, dad? What's up, Timbo? Yeah, Timbo has uh, got his son in chat tonight, so it's exciting, man. You guys say say uh, say hello there to Cooney. Uh, it's good, man, to have pops and sons here in the um, in, in the stream, man. It's good to have guys keeping it in the fam, man. That's what I say, man. Keep it, keep it the fan, man. Keep, keep the. I don't know what else. Well, I don't know what else the other ones in there, but <laughs> Jody, what's going? Let's go with there. First truck, what's up, man? New here. Well, good man. Good to have you around. Uh, Edible King, what's up, man? Get a few more shout outs here, Jamie. Uh, what they're in the next? <laughs> I know, man. I knew it was almost there. Uh, but yeah, Sauce Boss, what's up, man? Tyrone, Postman. Uh, yeah, man. Oh, I hear you, man. 8K on the W9, I hear you, man. Captain Chaos, good to see you, man. All right, tell you what. Let's go ahead. Let's roll this down, man. Let's go ahead and get ready, man, because we got a lot to cover. Uh, I'm going to try to hit up some info on this thing first, and then let's do some driving. I'm going to try to show you some really cool areas first. Uh, I've literally been dev consoling all over this since they shouted the key to me. So uh, more shout-out to them here uh, right after this so you guys don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. and we're back all right that was quick <clears throat> okay so first off thanks to SES software uh i have been doing this for a pretty pretty good long time we've been moving with uh with uh, with ats for quite a bit and um and uh for some you know for some odd uh not really for a reason but you know i've always kind of uh uh wanted to be in that top group that got keys early that you know got to stream some content early that got a hold of some things uh, and that's always like for a streamer, for me, it's always a good a good point when you get to that uh, and a developer says, hey, man, we like what you're doing. We want you to keep it up and we want you to represent the game that we're putting out there. And you guys know me, especially with new guys. You guys will. Um, what's up, Sir Kales? You guys will you, you figure out for me. I, I don't really hold back. I'm, I'm certainly respectful with how we describe things here. Um, but uh, we're excited when developers do really good things. Uh, and sometimes we're aggravated when they feel like things could be better, and especially because we're all sitting on the community side, not necessarily on the development side. So it's a totally different relationship that I have um, to the games and say what the developers do. So um, anyway, I, I will tell you guys, um, especially that are coming from ATS, we've had a couple of DLCs that have been, I will say, lackluster. I mean, they haven't been bad. Utah was pretty good. It was like a six or a seven. You know, it was wasn't quite as good as Washington. Um, but, uh, Idaho was just small, although it was still good. It just wasn't like, didn't have a lot in it and only had a couple of main roads. And you got, I think most of you guys knew what we were talking about through there. 
Um, but when I was going to bring you to the map, man, once you actually see the map, there's a lot of map in Colorado. Um, and so, I mean, just comparatively looking at it, you can see how much busier it is in New Mexico. It's about the same land mass size. Um, and the thing about that you'll notice about this is there's a lot more curvy roads. There's a lot more stuff going on in this map. And I have to tell you guys and actually put out this disclaimer. Um, just because I've gotten a key to this does not mean that I'm just kissing butt because I got the key. Um, cause I typically don't do that. Um, I, I, I give a realistic review based on many hours, almost 3000 hours of ATS gameplay through streaming and setting up streams and all the likewise. So, um, seeing, uh, seeing Colorado in this shape, in this form, um, it is good. And so convoys, whether you're just kicking around, this is, this goes almost into some of the mod map care categories that we talk about. So I'm going to take you guys partially down the, 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 um, Million Dollar Highway, which is Highway 550 there out of Montrose down to Durango. Uh, that whole little strip almost down through Grand Junction is good. But there's actually some really good places. There's climbs in this. There's descents in this. They've got flatlands. So pretty much everything on the east side is pretty much flat as a pancake. I mean, it's kind of crazy. And then the last part of the eastern side of the Rockies cuts down the middle of Colorado. So that's kind of why if you, ooh, if you zoom back out here, you can kind of see how this side right here Pretty much Interstate 25 severs it. And everything west of that is crazy awesome. And then everything east of that is pretty much flat. So, um, so but anyway, let's go ahead. I'm going to tell you, we're all modless today, so we don't have any mods. Um, we're going to be driving basically the W900. We've got some of the new heavy haul trailers, the 139s. If you guys hadn't seen uh, the 139 uh, yet, then, uh, then you'll get to see that as well. So I'm actually... Going to take you down to one of the really cool places. We've got a brand new thing, and we've got mines now have been added into it. So we've had some graphics for some uh, some build in here in uh, what was it? Idaho had some some stuff. We've uh, uh, what was the other Utah had um, some mode to some mining. So this Namik or Namik, whatever this is, is a new mining company. Uh, so that's where a lot of this stuff is kind of coming to. So a lot of gold ore. So anyway, we're going to go up halfway through this. We'll try to pick up something out of Namika, uh, and then we'll try to head up, uh, some other way. So you'll kind of get to see a really cool area, um, all the way down through here. So, uh, let's see. Anyway, I think we've got, let me make sure. Cause I'm going to make, um, I'm not sure why it keeps sending me back over here. We're going, we're going to drive down this way and see what happens. Um, and see if it resets. It should reset it. So anyway, I will be with chat. Um, and uh, <laughs> shout out to us all there, Captain Chaos, man. It's good to see you, buddy. Ryan, what's up, man? All right, so let's go ahead and let's uh, let's get into it, man. Let's check out a little bit of uh, Colorado. If you guys got questions, feel free to ask them. Uh, we'll see some things along the way. Um, and, uh, if you guys want to see inside, outside, you know, just, just holler, let me know. Actually, let me, um, I'm going to reset this here. Just hold away. What's up, bud? How are you, man? Jeremy Hart, what's going on, man? Good to see you guys. <clears throat> what's up, Robert Shibley? How are you, man? What's up, Dylan? Good to see you, man. Where you get the shifter? It is custom made there, uh, Joey, by one of the guys here uh, in our Discord, man. Mm, oh, you know what? Hang on a minute. Let's um, let's do this. Uh, I have the Track IR Pro, is what I've got. Uh, Brian, I hope so, buddy. I hope, hope we can get it. I might need to make sure that I've got... Um, yeah, she didn't want to go into gear. I'm kind of curious if I even got it set on here. I was driving this thing around. I'm wondering if I just need to restart the game. I've been out of this so long. It's, it's terrible. It's terrible you think we'd have all this stuff. What's up, Just coming up? Uh, we're just using the, the biggest of everything there, there uh, Double Z. <laughs> uh, was the best shifter? Oh, right, so... So I would say um, the best shifter. Uh oh, the best shifter is going to be um, uh, the best one is going to be um, the Fanatec, depending on how much uh, how much you want to do there. What is going on here? All right, we might just have to do a, re a restart here. Hey, thanks there, man. Actually, you know what? Let's just do this. 
I'm going to get driving here. We'll put it in automatic just for now just to get things going. Unless I change this up. Oh, well, it's all right. Am I from Big Rig Travels? Uh, no. <laughs> it would be nice if I was. <laughs> Thank you there, David. Appreciate the uh, five Canadians there, man. Well, uh, Robert, I would love to be triple, but typically people don't like to see triple. Um, I used to do triple screens, and then people said they'd rather see it in single. So... Yeah, okay, well, let's just, we're going to do this. I think I pulled in here, and I was, probably shouldn't have done this. All right, there we go. Thank you there, Brian. Appreciate it, man. What's the size of the mountains? Um, so the mountains themselves um, are actually, they're really, really, um, I would say, hmm, gosh, man, what is, what is the best way to say this? I would say the mountains are on scale with everything else that we've seen in, um, in ATS. Um, so, you know, we never have anything, because you got to think about it this way. If you got the heavy ons, you put the mountains too big, um, then you can't go in there and you can't do anything. Oh my God, Mike. Whoa. Holy crap. Mike Krieger, man, with the $200 super chat. Holy cow, man, dude. Are you kidding me, man? Oh my gosh, man. Wow, Doc. Man, that's awesome, dude. Thank you, man. Appreciate that, man. That's huge, Mike. That is huge, man. That is crazy, man. Thank you, thank you, Mike. That's whew. That is a Virginia man. Dang. Hey, I'm still in my alert system there. It's like I don't know what to do with that one. <laughs> Woo! That's a big one, man. Thank you there, Mike. Appreciate that again, man. Uh okay. Woo! Uh so mountains. So yes, yeah, so you guys are going to see pretty much the the uh, pretty much the mountains. I will say this. Um, contrary to what you may think, there's very few areas where I feel like you can go up. Um, uh, there's very few areas that you can go up and have this experience like you're climbing up a mountain and it's just this huge pass. There are quite a few that are good hills and then they have it up and then a down. But, you, you know, we've always had this issue with um, SES trucks with the engines just don't sometimes feel underpowered. Even though 600 or 610, 625 cats on these some of these trucks. Um, they still feel underpowered when you put a really good heavy load on it. Um, but I think it's a healthy mix. I'd say I would maybe like to uh, to do a little more with it and have a little bit more uh, challenge in that. But I kind of know why they didn't. Because they, they can't always just put stuff like that in for guys that, that, are, um, that are necessarily just running for... Um, the 625 cats might put it for new players that have the whole entire bundle want to drive in Colorado and they've got a 400 horsepower truck it's still got to make it up the hill so I think maybe that's why so uh... <laughs> thanks again Mike man appreciate that so we're going to try actually you know what let's just double check make sure it's not sending us okay we're good all right so we're gonna you'll get you'll get to see some of those mountains there Mr. Joselito you ain't trying anything on the mountain, I know, man. <laughs> yeah. The cities are nice. Um, they're pretty much a standard, um, you know, kind of the grid squares, block side. East side is, you know, really, I would say not too. Uh, I would say they're very reminiscent of um, New Mexico cities. They're kind of like you got the straight road, straight shot through them, and then. Phew, that's it. So these are kind of like shotgun cities on some of these, uh, especially on the east, uh, the east side of it. Um, but yeah, other than that, man, it's uh, it's good, man. The game is more absolutely, man, <laughs> absolutely. 
So we've got some of the new Heavy All trailers on there as well. So if you guys aren't on 139, this is some of what you're going to have here on 139. Um, and uh, they're really good. I, You know, I'm, I'm typically... I mean, I hate to say this because I, I feel like I sound like, you know, that, I don't know, just that guy, that salty player that's, you know, the, well, they ought to be doing this, you ought to be doing that. But honestly, these heavy haul trailers got some customization to them. And if you want to do them as low boys, doubles, triples, I mean, it's it's pretty legit. I mean, I actually really like this addition to it. Um, and I'm sure there'll probably be some modders that come in and add some new loads. If you got the forestry load, all the forestry loads all load on this as well. So that's kind of nice already. Um, and most of this stuff I've dev consoled, but I have not driven through. So we'll kind of see how all that stuff does. So well, we can't, we can't, we're not, yeah, with, uh, with it being 10 o'clock at night, 400 people on stream, we can't bring up politics. So please don't, man. <laughs> please don't. What's up, Big Dub? Good see you, man. What's up there, uh, Mr. FBG? Got some new businesses in here, some new things, uh, you know, in Colorado that, you know, you don't have. There's a couple of really good mining sites in here that I think you guys will, um, you know, y'all eventually uh, like driving through. There will, be, there, there will be some really nice convoy areas and stuff in here. That'll be really nice. Yeah, well, I was, and I'm not sure if uh, if my assignment went loose or if I just need to restart on the uh, if I need to restart on my uh, on my shifter. I thought I checked that out, but for some odd reason, it wasn't want to shift. Uh, how do you get free access to Colorado? You stream it for a lot of hours and uh, more than a year, and maybe SCS will give you a free one. <laughs> Every now and again, we will give giveaways. So it's possible you could tune in, man. We'll uh, we we'll do some giveaways here with Colorado once it releases on Thursday. So, uh, for me, what's up there, Hasking? Uh, yeah, so new GPU is not going to do me any good because my whole system is due for an upgrade. So once I I want to update the CPU, then we update uh, motherboard, and then obviously you know GPU might as well just go ahead and build a new system. I'm gonna turn this into a streaming machine. And then leave the other one for my gaming so that way i can run triples and do everything else that i want to do um and not really affect anything so it'll be good yeah i think a trailer dlc would really would be cool man i think it would be good all right so we're leaving Al alamosa and so we'll hit some of the hilly more uh not so straight roads here in the next little bit here it's got some nice switchbacks got a couple of nice things going on here so i hope you guys enjoy this uh, it don't, I mean, we do it on MP. I mean, it feels a little weird, but, you know, it is what it is. I think it's 11, 11 bucks. It'd be like the other one's big dub. Uh, yeah, the strobes on the trailers work. I've actually got strobes in the back, so once you flip on your, uh, once you flip on your beacons, it's the same thing. I would imagine just simple licensing. Um, I, I, I don't think they have... Does anybody know? I think, I think their first trailer actually has... Um, I think their first, their first trailer sets are towards something else, but it's not Great Dane. Uh, what's the one that starts with an S? Your trailer brand starts with an S? All right, well, I would love to do an addition of the axle to that one in the front, but they don't have tag axles on default trucks, so I wouldn't. I could. And a couple of nice, uh, we got a couple of nice um, uh, tunnels in here. We got about three or four uh, in this one anyway, so... Hey, Sinel the Trucker, what's up, man? Thank you there, man. $25 super chat, man. Uh, yeah, the horn works first. There's a there's also um uh there's also quite a few national parks in here. Um it does have the Rocky and Rocky National Park is in here. 
and they've got a lot of addition to some new viewpoints a lot of these pull off areas uh, which I'm sure the screenshots will get good on here but thank you there Snell. appreciate it man oh and thanks by the way man I just I remembered that I forgot this thanks uh, to a uh, Walker FTG man he had a $20 super chat before he even got started tonight so thank you there Walker appreciate you buddy Again, there, UP. Uh, if you're gonna just constantly do that, then I mean, I'm sure you can go find someone else riding a triple axle for you, man. We're not going to need an escort because we're riding the default game, and uh, yeah, you can't do that in the game. So, I don't really have a favorite type of trailer. Uh, if it's just a cool trailer, I'll, I'll cycle them out. I mean, I like reefers for a while, you know. And then, then I'm like, oh, I'm ready for a good like flatbed. You know, we'll run a curtain cider. I mean, and then, you know, some rays, I'll get in, like, these low boys. I pulled these low boys about the past, uh, what, three or four days. A couple of live streams here. And, uh, I mean, I like them, man. If the loads look good and uh, and they fit and they're kind of cool to pull, I don't care, man. I'll do anything. So, decent grades here. She's pretty much, she's pretty much floored. I mean, she's still moving up. I mean, we're not we're not talking huge amounts of. Uh, I'm sorry, we're only the sex is only sitting at thirty eight thousand, so we're not talking about a huge heavy load here. FTC <laughs> over from Raptor. That's been a minute. <laughs> that has been a minute there, Derek Bradshaw. Thank you there, man, for the sub. Appreciate it. Alessandro de Santos, hello directly from Brazil. What's up, man? Yeah, until we'll see you with the first time we're doing our convoys, man. If somebody flies up the uh, somebody flies up the ramp, man. <laughs> That's you know, I was sitting there thinking, I was like, God, that I was noticing your uh, your logo. I was like, oh boy, hello. I was noticing your logo there and was like. Man, that logo sounds familiar, but the name wasn't ringing a bell. So, here let's uh, let's do a little quick pause right here. So you kind of get um, a, a good feel for the scale of this map. So even when you're in these areas, like you know what I'm saying, like even when you're in these areas, like the scale of this map is still is pretty impressive, um, to say the least. So. I mean, some of those things, man, I can I, I can appreciate those things. What's up, Kenya Howard, man? Thank you there, Arturo and uh, Ken Slate. Is that all right? Ken Slate coming in there. Let's see how long we drive like this. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <clears throat> And really, you'll find that man through all of them. Is that? Oh man, I am not even going to. I'm not even going to try. It. DB man, we're going to call you DB. I'm not even going to try on that. Luis Rodriguez, thank you, man. Ontario real fan, thank you guys, man. Alessandro, good to see you guys. Thank you all for the subs, man. That's kind of what I mean. So you got you got some some climb areas, and then you've got like that. It's a nice little downhill area, but it's not so steep that it's you know unrealistic. <laughs> yeah, Streamlabs spam. <laughs> ah, that's all right, man. We like that kind of spam from Streamlabs. We can deal with that. <laughs> there they go, man. Yeah, Lambo. All right, man. Lambo uh, 2X and uh, Chatter Cold. Thank you, guys. Appreciate y'all coming in. Texas Trucker, man. Thanks for the five dollars super chat. Appreciate it, man. I like this, man. We got some cliffside hangers here. There's a couple of these bridges around here. They've uh, Really good stacking the, you're just stacking the fill of this man, man. It's, it's good. Yes, a harsh cargo. That's exactly what I said, man. Right in the very beginning, you may not have caught it, but um, I was saying, man, this rivals some of those Mexican extreme road maps that we see. Um, but obviously, this is going to be put more in a more in a stationary form for even the the starter, you know, ATS players that don't have the big engines and don't have the levels for it and stuff. Yeah, man. Uh, where's the shifter cam? I might once we get stopped here. I want to just go ahead and get moving just for those guys that'll come in uh, If I have to I'll restart just to get the shifter going But it may have been that the shifter is gotten out of whack or something. I'm not sure Let 
Thank you there, Penny Club. Thank you there, Zach. Thank you there, Travis. Appreciate it, guys. I'll make them smaller. I'll make them little. I'll make them smaller, man. Carter Game, what's up, man? How are you? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> we were talking about that the other day. I was talking with the guys in Discord. I said, yeah, it's going to be nice when we go in there and hit the... Uh, we go in there and hit this in uh, in MP, man. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, Coop. What's up, Tommy? You can't pull. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. My bad. Uh, there we go. Yeah, we're killing me tonight, man. All right, here I'll make that a little bit smaller. There you go. Is that better? <laughs> now y'all can see. Thank you, there, Rick. Appreciate it, man. Oh my God, Tippo. <laughs> Thank you, there, Tippo, man. Alexander the Great. Thank you, there, uh, Travis. Timbo, ten dollars for me in the sun. Oh. Pagosa Springs. Uh, I don't think so, Mike. It was, it was standard, man. I... Is Smurdy a trailer? Is there a Smurdy thing, man? Daniel, thank you there, man. Appreciate the sub. Uh, is this only on YouTube? Yes. It's, yeah, I only do YouTube, man. I don't do Twitch, too. I don't do both. But I try to keep the community all in one place. Favorite DLC map is Z-Bullet is definitely uh, this one. Um, you know, you guys will get to see pretty much the main part of the of the west side of the state, at least through this stream anyway, once we uh, run this million-dollar highway. Uh, kudos to anybody in stream that knows why they call it the million dollar million million dollar highway. They might know that. Power driver, we are in Colorado, my friend. Snyder, what's up, man? Yeah, we have yeah wheel pedals, shifters. Yeah, we got the full works, man. Uh, yeah, it was three, three, three reasons. Yeah, three reasons they did. It cost a million, yes, but it cost, they, it cost a million per mile. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> a million per mile. <laughs> yeah, nobody, nobody Google it. <laughs> oh, gosh, man. America Truck Sim. Chris is up, man. What's going on, Savvy Three? How are you, man? <laughs> Timer. Uh. All right, so we got, uh, so we got, so I don't know how, if, if any of you guys remember, um, if any of you guys remember uh, seeing uh, Bellingham, if you guys have watched him deal. So thank you for the trip, Jay. Appreciate it, man. Uh, got some, we're going to see some Bellingham esque roads, at least where we're going to deliver off to today. So I got to be cool, man. Chase, what's up, man? Uh, yeah, Rob, we're 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 60, 60 fine for the stream. Hey, Benny, yeah, man. So I was I was talking earlier, man. I'll, I'll talk a little bit while you guys are um, you know chiming. In. I'll try to keep up with some questions there if you got some good ones. Um, uh, you can hire dri drivers, Kenneth. 
Um, they don't actually drive around map, but yeah, they're kind of there. <laughs> you should be able to do that in the cogwheel settings going advanced. You should be able to just change your account name, display name. No, I'm not doing 4K because I'm not streaming in 4K. So playing 4K and then trying to de-resolve that into this is... Plus, these aren't 4K TVs, so... Uh, ACS will probably go on sale Thursday. So if you guys are looking to get into this or looking to get any other kind of DLCs, do that Thursday because once we move into Thursday, um, it's going to be... Uh, it's gonna be It'll be pretty good because I'm sure a lot of DLCs going to go on sale. Obviously, this one will be on sale, but it won't be like, you know cheap but i'm sure ats ets all that's going to go on sale here come saturday i mean uh, thursday so thank you there lars appreciate it man thanks for the sub thank you there he man for the five appreciate that buttercup Yeah, whoever did this, man, they, they spent some time with this map, man. They really did a they did a jam up job. They really did. It's, it's really, really, really good. So this is the city of Durango. So this is the uh, one of the southernmost. Whoa, one of the southernmost cities. Uh, this will be right north of Farmington on Arizona. Uh, so I'll show you real quick where we're at. So, so we're gonna go up here. So this is you'll see a little bit of that five fifty million million dollar highway. You'll get to see some of this. Um, and then uh, pretty much wherever you guys, for the most part, want to go, Steamboat Springs is pretty cool up here in between Fort Collins. It's some really cool stuff up there. Um, and then the, I believe it's the this road right here. This one's really, once you come off the 70, I believe. Uh, I was trying to think here. I think this Highway 24, 285, like all of this right here is really, really, really nice. So we can pretty much go wherever. Interstates, I really honestly are pretty much interstates. And they kind of resemble everything else. So, <laughs> yeah, we don't see any red ones here, man. Like uh, usually, too. Yeah, we don't. We don't see any here. Like everything here is black, yellow. We don't even see orange, so like even seeing a red one is like, what? <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, let's see. I'm getting a right lane here. We're fixing to split off here at a few different places. So I will say this. I, I've had um, a little bit of time to kind of dev console through everything, kind of check the roads out, check the scenery. This is by far the best DLC that, 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 that SES has ever done for ATS. Um, I, we, we used to think at least, especially a lot of the guys here on our, uh, channel, by the way, discord is open. If you guys want to convoy and want to jump in and truck and want to hang out with, uh, us and the crew. Um, but that, when I refer to us, that's who I'm talking about. We've sat around and had lots of discussions on ATS. What's good. What's not, especially when Idaho came out. I mean, it was comparisons about think, you know, just basically just shooting the crap at night and talking about things that we like, things that we didn't like, things that we're aggravating to deal with and, Things that, you know, we wish that ATS would do. Um, and then, uh, and for, for some, you know, for most of us, we kept going back to like, and Utah was a close first or second, uh, but really it was hard to beat like Washington because Washington was really, really good. Cities were done really well. Um, it had a lot of really big things in that. Uh, and this one, I think by far is going to be, is going to be better. Performance has been great, which I mean, I assume it would be. Um, a lot of these small cities are really, especially on the west side of the state, are really cool, really nice, a lot of cool places. Denver International Airport is on this. You actually get to pull up into a cargo plane, which I know there's going to be a lot of guys who are going to enjoy doing that. So, Yeah, I think I just, I think I answered that old timer. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Tyrone, you can come in there and anybody can come hang out, man. We just, we limit that obviously when we're doing streams and stuff, but yeah, anybody can come chat, man. Stoplights still don't stay green long enough, but it is what it is. Yeah, I turn all that stuff off, Ken. <laughs> I mean, I, I'll follow the rules, but I'll follow them up to a certain extent, man. Like some of it, I don't care. <laughs> Like, nah, man, we got to get on the road. We got to get going and see what everybody wants to see tonight, man. 
<laughs> you know, it's a good question, K and Chang. I think. I mean, when you're looking at a map, we'll go ahead and. When you're looking at a map, it makes a lot of sense that they would do Wyoming next. I know people want Texas. I don't think people will like Texas. Um, but I think for the most part, I think Wyoming will be one of those that, um, I think, I think that will be one of them that we want to do. Um, because it's going to connect three different states. You'll have a connection of Idaho, Utah, and also Colorado. So it would only make sense that that one would actually, you know, come into their development profile, whatever they, their development roadmap, I guess you'd say. It would be nice if they put out a development roadmap just of like, what we want to do, what we're thinking of doing, maps in, in this order. And that way we wouldn't have to play so much guessing. But, uh, hey, enjoy this next part because this is getting on the fun part. So I know this is what you guys wanted to see. So I'll try to answer some questions. You guys go ahead and do some, and I'll try to pipe in here. But I'm just going to kind of let you guys enjoy some of this scenery with without a, you know, a constant talk all over it. So Plus I'll have to probably put a little bit of a... A little bit of care into how I drive this on the fall side of the mountain. <laughs> hey, Miguel. I, I'll, uh, yeah, man, it's, it's, it's good, man. It's awesome. I don't know any down dump trucks. <laughs> At least not for, from them. Yeah, Shadow. It's good, man. This is the default 139. Default 13. Everything in this is default. So that's, that's, that's the agreement you do with SES. So everything is as it is in the game. So that way it's a good representation of everything that's going. I don't know if this thing ever comes down. I don't think it does. Um, but uh, obviously for rock slides and everything else. You can see the mountains up here on the, in the far, far bit of the picture here. Uh, Fanatec 2.5 Austin. Alright, starting to finally get some of the switchbacks here. This is, this, this, this road is going to be, uh, there's a couple, man, it's going to be killer convoy roads. <laughs> nice to know, Matt, nice to know. You know, some of those actually in Washington come down when the bridge raises, and you ain't expecting it. <laughs> you know, it's just like, oh my God, the bridge is going, and then we had to have it on our last, uh, our last convoy. And that was me too, man. I slammed right into that barrier. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, this sucked. They'd had to told that boat, hey man, you're gonna have to wait, bro. <laughs> uh, no logging roads and Colorado. It's all centered around mining. So we're going to kind of take a look at that here once we once we make our break here, because uh, we only got 80 miles. Of course, it might be a little bit long, 80 miles, but we'll try to. Of course, what you know, we'd get stuck behind the one truck that wants to do 27. Let's see if we've got it, guys. Maybe we got it. Let's see. Come on, baby. Thank you there, Hayd, man. Appreciate it. Thank you there, Steven. Thank you guys for the subs. And I think, you know, I don't know. <clears throat> There's not too much just of the standard 2D texture. You can see, you see the depth of the map, man. It's like, it's really, it's really there. I've really done a good job with the depth of the map. Postman, thank you there, man. Oh, the extended mod. Well, see, I had to use no mods. So, yeah. Not that I've seen yet, Mark. Not that I've seen yet. Yeah, this ain't even the bad part, man. This is just this is just starting the climb, man. Starting the climb. Uh, yeah, yeah, Tyrone. You gotta you gotta ask decent questions, man. I. <clears throat> you keep asking the same thing, like. You could ask Google if there's a 281, and it'll tell you before I will. 
And my, my shifter's actually an 18. If you're asking about my personal one, the shifter's 18 speed, so it'll do whatever you want it to do. <laughs> where do you think I get my answer from? <laughs> That's where I get mine. And so I will say this real quick. Let me let me let me let me pop a squat here. Um, so there are tons of these places um, that are built into this map. Uh, if you look at them and find them and stuff, but there are a ton of like these little you know scenic over overlooks and stuff, and they've got all of the signs like for. You know, for people that want to know what this area is, like, I mean, that's what I mean. Like, I've always felt like the early parts of, um, you know, any of our DLCs or even the original map, California, you know, take your pick, any of them. They always have a hint that they're in the state, but you never really see things that are that deal with just like that state as general. But this one, you can read all of the signs. You can read all of the info and the bridges and all of these gold mining runs and stuff. And all of it is legit, which is really nice. It adds an extra hint of realism to it, you know, that you actually do feel like you're actually riding in, you know, some pretty cool Colorado areas here, so. So you can see even like doing this coming up on the other side, Jake break almost, almost lets you go down it without having to hit the gas. I tell you with as many trees that are in this game, I mean, especially in, in this particular DLC, uh, to have this many trees in it, it's actually really good. Like, I always have problems in Washington. Even with my system, I still run into issues with it. But this one, yeah, I, 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 I don't. I don't know if they do or not, or I just know everybody wants me to do it in here. Pistol trains, thank you, man. I would say most of them probably use the gear itself and don't actually use the e-brake the engine brake unless they have to. I don't know. We got plenty of real truckers in here. I'm sure they'll tell you. <laughs> there you go. Chris is like, yeah, all the time, bro. That's what it's for. <laughs> oh gosh. Jedi like this, man. This is nice. Yeah, man. I know it's good. It's good Good to have so many guys in here watching, man. Thanks for those guys subbing, man. Ryan, thank you as well. Appreciate it, guys. Uh, it's a little bit stream, not too much. I've got it on low latency, so you can still have the closed caption for it. I actually like having it. So it's about five or six seconds. And some people ask questions, and I'll miss them. Um, and I'll try to group up what I'm going to say with people's questions a little bit. I'm not, I'm not necessarily, uh, you know, boom, 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 boom. All right, so there's that one downhill section. So this that's about the first, I don't know, I'd say the first 40% of it. So you guys will see the rest of it here in a minute. There you go. Now you kind of see like just the, the sheer scale uh, of the DLC. Like it looks good inside the cab, but you can see here like this right here is like borderline. If you guys watch me do Viva Mexico, uh, any of those types of maps and stuff like this is straight up borderline what those guys do with the maps and I can't I can't help but think that they're gonna be able to use some of these resources from Colorado uh, and be able to be able to update and add in even some of their other areas so it'll be even even more nice so thank you there goof appreciate it man yeah so the snow mods and stuff like that I think are gonna be really cool um, I think that we got some guys here that are already looking forward to adding in the heavy snow mods and that kind of stuff. Because it'll be legit, man, when all that stuff's working with the uh, DLC. It's going to be good, man. 
I agree. I agree there. Mag Gamer. What's up, bud? How are you, man? Latrell, thank you there. Thanks for the sub. I think, you're, I think it's coming in. So I can't imagine how many guys are going to drag their trailers across the uh, the mountain right there. <laughs> good, man. It's good to see you. Yeah, so that's what I mean, man. Like the cities are there are always a lot bigger, but um, yeah, let's see what let's see what this one is. They do have some new viewpoints. Okay, so those are, but you can't, they're not clear enough to actually read them. I'm just seeing if they were clear enough. Uh, steering wheel, this is the NASCAR. So it's a Fanatec 2.5, but it's uh, got the uh, the hub button set, and then uh, I've got the Fanatec NASCAR rim on it now. <laughs> yeah, there's race, yeah, the, yeah. I don't know how many race miles will be on this one there, man. Let's go ahead. Let's hit this. Uh, let's hit this one right here. It's pretty cool, man. Brian King, thank you there, man. Thank you there for the ten. Uh, appreciate that, man. Great looking DLC. I agree, man. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that, Brian. All right. Let's see. Oh yeah. Just gotta hit enter. All right, so there's their viewpoint here for Colorado. Pretty much overlooks the whole town there, which is kind of neat, man. Yes. <laughs> uh, Robert, I got a dev console video. That's how I do it. <laughs> Miguel, I don't even want to think about it, man. I'm sure TMP, if they watch this video, they're going to be going, Oh, my gosh. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> there there's probably i would imagine i'm sure there's um there's there's probably stuff to keep you from uh you know going over the edge on all these <laughs> i'm sure there is man uh i'll check there and tell you what town this is there kurt yeah this is legit man the scale is there which is what we've always said you know with any of these even utah the scale just didn't feel like it was there so you know, with without the scale to really give the road you're driving on like this, this feeling like you were something smaller than you were on the map. I mean, it was just you know, it's just too small. Um, so having things properly scaled size wise to what you're in driving in the truck, like it feels a little bit better. You know, let me see if this thing will let me go into manual without restarting. I'm gonna get into all that, but I hope it does. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Let's see if it accepts my uh Yeah, that's weird. Do I have this on? Yeah, I might have to just go ahead and restart it, but that's alright. I'm not gonna do it right now. Okay. Uh, well, cause I think, I think I need to restart my stuff. I've had it on for like literally two hours. So I just put it back on automatic cause shifter and, and this shifter down here, there was, I, it's just like, it needs to be restarted with the game. It happens every now and again. And ever since I moved over to Fanatec, Fanatec does it too, where it almost like disconnects its force feedback and everything from the wheels. So, oh yeah, you want to know where this is at. So we are. So don't have an actual city name for it. So we're just in between Durango and I guess that's Montrose. So Hey man. Thank you there worldwide. Man, donate a fifty dot talk on it, man. You guys are awesome. Thank you there, Mike. Appreciate it, man. It is uh it's good to see you there, man. And uh hope you uh hope you come back, man. Hang out with us. We should be streaming some more. Uh, Colorado here in the next uh, days or whatnot. So, you see any of the old friends, man? Tell them I said, hey. <laughs> My mom games. What's up? But thank you, man. Appreciate it. Big shout out there to Mike, man. Big donation of the night, man. So, that's it, man. Always appreciate it, man. 
Best DLC for quality. All right, so once we get our... You guys hang with me here for just a minute because we're going to kind of recap some of what we've... Uh, you know, some of what we've... And I don't want to say experience. That's kind of a weird word. It's like it's a video game. I don't know how much we're experiencing. Wait a minute. Did I miss my turn? Son of a gun. I missed my turn. Did miss it, didn't I? Dang it. That really did. Yes. Deck gummit. All right. All right. Let's see if I can make a turn right here. Let me make a turn in here somewhere. All right, let's see if we can cut a Yui right here. There we go. All right, so why don't we go down to one of the cooler sections here? <clears throat> Uh, Nick, it comes out Thursday. They usually do like a noontime-ish release on most of these because they'll get it like for uh, it's a worldwide release usually at all the same time. So I think for the, pretty much the U.S. it starts about 12. All right, here it is. I missed it. All right, here's go. What's up, Dave? Let's see David in here, man. All right, here we go. So this is the Bell Bellingham-esque road right here. So this is the mining road leads down to the to gold mine, which I think is really cool. And hopefully you don't get stuck, man. Hey, thank you there. Appreciate that worldwide double seven with the super chat too, man. Thanks worldwide. Appreciate it. Uh, yes, they do have sightseeing spots laid out, and I'm using default because that's what I have to do as a part of an early stream release partner for SES I have to um, I have to do all defaults so trailers trucks sounds like I can't do any mods Woo, what a tight squeeze there it is thank you there Noah Williams we sh appreciate that sub man North American Mines and Quarries there you go that's what Namik Namik stands for Namik There's one really cool part of this road I think you guys are going to like. So I'm just thinking, man, this is going to be terrible for TMP and multiplayer. It's going to be it's going to be ridiculous, man. Yep, yeah, you're right, man. Uh, DJ Fox is right, man. It's all about uh, all about the uh, the map, man. We'll we'll get our mods on here, man. Thursday we'll start rolling mods on this. We'll get some trailers. We'll get some trucks. It'll be good. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be when you're gonna have like you know seventy trucks going up uh, going up this one. <laughs> uh. I guess we could turn some beacons on coming down through here. Jordan, what's up, man? Do you like use the default? No, I don't. I don't. Um, I mean, it's it's okay for for MP, but man, there's some really great mods out there. So I you know I use them. All right, let's see here. We'll, we'll, yeah, yeah. So you won't find a lot of switchbacks, but you'll find this road being about as you know being a lot tighter than Bellingham is. But it doesn't have quite the crazy switchbacks. But there's one really cool part on this road. You guys are fixing to see. I can't wait to show it. Like, can you get there fast enough? M Junior Eldru El Eldruix Eldruix is that right? Uh, you get all three pieces with it, damn it. Yeah, yeah, so if you go buy ITS, it, it comes with the sensor, and then it'll come with this piece, too. It all comes in one package. Here it is. Love it. Look at this right here. Yeah! Love that part, man. That's so awesome. 
so cool. So you'll find out when we get up here, the mine itself is actually really big. Um, there's about two different, well, two different really, really large mines on here, and they have these big, huge drive rounds. So at least the load in and the and the load out will be much simpler than they have been on the previous areas of the map. So is that your Yuvaraja? 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 Is that right? I hope that's right. Thank you there for sub, man. Appreciate it. YJ and Nicola Lakovic. Appreciate it. Lakovic. 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 Is that right? Lakovic? Nicola Lakovic. Yeah, controllers work fine, man. Once you get them, once you get them, uh, you get them all squared away, man. Yeah, I saw that, Dave. I saw that. I would have liked to have drove some of those on there, but no go. It's all right. I know, DJ. It's gonna be terrible, man. I'm MP, man. It's, it's gonna be. How do you get Colorado? Well, you gotta. Um, it'll be released on Thursday, but I've got an early copy as a part of my agreement there with SCS. So they uh, this year they uh, sent me an early copy to be able to stream on our what they call their first wave of streamers. So. You know, this, this stream will pop up with, uh, you know, Jeff Aviano's and uh, Squirrel's videos. And I'm sure there'll be a couple other guys that do, like, the cinematic views that'll, uh, cinematic vids. But they don't really do, like, a lot of, like, live stream communicate talk. But I'm sure they'll be in there. So it's, it's cool, man. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for the opportunity, man. It's kind of been a long time coming, so. What's up, Baba Bong? How are you, man? <laughs> we we'll read the guys. I can tell you, well, we're not going to see Todd Hoffman in the crew. But like, I don't know, man. I, I guess my big, my big. So I guess we'll do from this first one is my big takeaways from Colorado so far. The interstate roads are interstate roads. I mean, I think they're always going to be there. They're fine. Denver's really nice. I mean, there's not anything that is like just hugely like. <gasps> it's you know, it's it's. It's interstate. It's simple. Um, but um, for some of this, man, I, th I think the scaling of the mountains, the mining areas, these side roads, this whole western part of the state is worth it alone without even having the eastern part. But the eastern part itself is still really nice. It's just totally different. So for those guys that are like, oh, well, hey, the states don't have more, you know, I hate they don't have more, uh, you know, more things going on with them. There's not more. Uh, places to drive. There's not a difference of what, you know, this is going to change that, I think. Um, let's go. Let's pick the hard. Let's see where we're going here. Know which way I'm supposed to go, I guess. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to turn right or left. Well, I guess at this rate, it really doesn't matter, right? Oh, it says this way. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have, like, Getting off close. All right. Yeah, uh, we can uh, we can certainly head to Denver. I figure we would try to maybe pick something up here. Um, if you guys want to see the rest of uh, the Million Dollar Highway, at least up up to the north part. And then we could just maybe see if we can find something that's okay. I don't know exactly where that came from, but yeah, we can see if we can find something over to that way. Okay, let's go ahead and let's, uh, nah, I don't know if we can, I don't know if we got enough real estate in here to make this one work. Nick Walter, thank you there, man. Oh, thank you, man. Appreciate that, man. Thirty dollar donation there for Nick Walter for always watching for a month and a little thank you for always answering. Well, you're welcome, man. I answer, um, you know, smart questions. <laughs> People that have legitimate questions. <laughs> it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit different tonight just because uh, we got a lot more people uh, typically that are uh, extra chatty tonight, wanting to uh, know what's going on with some of this DLC. So, 
I'm trying to catch as much as I can, so thanks for being patient with me, guys. Alright, there we go. Alright, deliver that one in. What's up? Best Yumana from Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> this is no guardrails. Ah, you'll be all right, man. They probably got some. Uh, they got probably got some stuff to keep people from doing that. <laughs> all right, so here's where we went. So we are right here. So right here's the first half of it. You can kind of see, like, once you get up up into here, then you kind of get back into the regular stuff. So um, I I am open and uh, and we really can. I tell you what, why don't we try doing this? Oh gosh, man! I mean, we can really go. We, we've really got a lot to do, uh, honestly. Oh, here's another. This is a big mine area right here. Like this whole entire thing is around all, an entire gold mine. It's pretty flipping awesome. Um, we'll do that one night. Uh, let's do um, Bronco Stadium. So yes, the stadium is in here. Denver is in here. The airport is in here. So Denver International is right here. Um, it's pretty awesome. I think, uh, why don't we do that? Y'all cool with that? Yeah, maybe. Let's do, uh, let's do Denver Air Cargo. And I'll take it down to the airport. Um, let's go ahead. Uh, do we do this? Yeah, sure. We'll... All right, yeah, let's make this happen. All right, let's go to the airport. First, let's make it daytime. There we go. And I'm using the dev console just to basically get myself from... This is something actually in the configuration. It's not a mod that you download. So um, let's go to Denver. Oh, we literally are in Denver. Um, so you'll see. Let me get back out here. We'll take a peek back at that. So here's the main city you'll go by. And it's like everything else. You don't have, you know, going through the city, you don't have, you know, roads all going into the middle of it and stuff. There is your uh, stadium over there for those that were wondering about it. Now we'll show you a, a cute little Easter egg they put in here. <laughs> you know, fine. Okay, why not? Racer Toff Colorado Trip 2019. So I'm sure that's one of their uh, 3D modelers there from uh, from SES. Said, why not? Sure. And they couldn't brand anything, so it's obviously the stadium, but they couldn't brand it as such, obviously. So they had to keep everything. So you got some interesting areas over here. Um, you got theme parks over here, I guess. Uh, I don't know anything about Denver besides just a few things from doing a little... A little, you know, pre, uh, pre, uh, I guess, I don't know, pre-stream material here, I guess. Better late than, than dead. Y'all remember that. Don't drive too fast. Uh, getting there in one piece is better than getting there in six. Um, so let's go over to the airport. Pull my map up here. All right. All right, here we are. And it's actually like a full airport, too. Like, let's go ahead and let's drive into it. Because I think we may actually have to unlock Denver. Let's just see what it does. Because <clears throat> we'll probably, um, we'll drive into it and then we'll hit the, yeah, we'll hit it when we get there. All right. Yeah, so this is the big one, man. All right. <clears throat> well, I'll just say, so, <laughs> yeah, so here's the, here's the thing, Nick. So if, uh, you know, if I go there, everybody like, well. Why it's just the interstate? Why'd you go just the interstate? And they'll be like, oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> oh. But it's got cool because this is what I wanted to show you guys. The interest to this actually has the same LED fancy looking design that is in the real thing. So if you look at Denver International Airport, like all of this stuff right here is as is, which is pretty neat. Like as soon as I, as soon as I don't do it, you know, somebody don't have a problem with it. All right, so you only go one way out of here.
I like it. I like it. This is a cool part right here. So you got all your air cargo stuff over here. <clears throat> you got all your planes knocked up. You can see planes taxi around, so a lot of that is animated, which is pretty slick. You have some animated planes that taxi around and maneuver around and stuff down there, which is kind of cool. Yeah, anybody, anybody can join, man. If you guys want to do convoys and stuff like, you guys can do that with us anytime you want to. You don't have to not do it if you don't have a, you know, if you're not just with us there on it, man. You can, you literally can join that stuff and, and come hang out with us in the Discord on that. I, I know we put on there that it's mainly for our convoy guys, you know, for our, our company guys, but you can literally, anybody can join it, man. Uh, no trip. I didn't wreck a lot because I, I always enjoyed driving it for what it was. Damn, my track on will stop working too. Jeez. I might just go ahead and restart this, man. Yeah, well, you can do it anytime, Nick. I mean, our, so we have a community server, so it's up it's up for everybody, man. Thank you there, to my, uh, Taj Boss King. Appreciate it, man. All right, there we go. Get a little, see a little uh, airport action here. I don't know if I pointed that out when we drove through. <clears throat> <laughs> Shane, thank you, man. Well, good. I'm glad you guys come back. I hope you guys come back. That horse needs to eat. He's a little skinny. So this is what I was telling you about. So this is one where I actually pick up a load. Now, whether or not we actually get to drive in and pick up the load from the belly, I'm not sure. But that's one of your pickup, uh, pickup places right there. It looks like a small Antonov. Ryan Schleicher's ears just perked up. Huh? What? Someone say hands up? <laughs> Shut up! They always seem to be similar. Well, I mean, they're going to... Oh, you better hold up there, Subaru. Uh, they're always going to seem to be because they're coming out of the same developer and they've got to keep a certain... They've got to keep a certain performance uh, on all of this because of their game's performance uh, capabilities what they say it can do but i will say that each i think personally each dlc they do gets better and um, they learn how to optimize a little bit better they learn how to utilize some of the new tools and some of the new tech to get better performance for the same amount of cost um but needless to say man they they this is by far their best one by far their best one so all right so we got a turbine I was trying to think of let's see if we could just maybe just take another small one out of here like maybe we'll just do this one uh wind turbine nacelle i'm not sure uh it's going over the power company so there's a new company coming in right there so let's just take this one and let's see oh we don't get a we don't get to go take it to a cool place and somebody jammed this trailer in there merc what's up man <laughs> You did. I well here. I'll show you. I'll show you, Ryan. Uh, one of the uh, one of the pickup zones here looks like an Antonov, like a two twenty five. It looks like the baby one. So I saw that. I said, "Well, Ryan will, Ryan will do that." And I was like, "His ears probably just perked up." And then sure enough, you're like, "Huh? huh I hear my name." <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, See, so yeah, oh, actually, you know what? Special transport pulls out of here as well. So there's the special transport. I think uh and then another another one out of there so so this one might just be well shoot if we're gonna do that let's let's drive around man let's drive around and see what let's see what we got <laughs> actually no ryan uh is 139 on tmp no of course not man they're, they're still waiting on that one man uh, so, so TMP is still on 138 right now, and they probably will update 139 and Colorado since it's only due out Thursday. They'll probably do it on Thursday. Oh, my Lord. Sorry about that. Glad I had the mute button there. Ah, it's a glue master. I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> my bad. Looks like the 120. I'm sorry, guys. I, I tried. All right, let's see what we got in here. Let's see what cargo market up in here. Ah, oh. do I have a freight market in here? Is it all? Oh. Hey, you... okay, that don't even make any sense. All right, my bad. We'll get back to the other place.
Yes, I'm gonna cheat. Just because we're, we're gonna cut some time. There we go. I, I think so too, there, Nick. Uh, you rev it up, yeah, you can. Um, uh, I need to restart the game, and then I mean, actually, you know what? Let's just do it right now, man. I, I'm, you know, it is what it is. Uh, track IR stopped working. Like, I don't, I don't exactly know what went wrong there. <clears throat> His security's obviously like I know, right? <laughs> uh, while it's doing this, though, let's uh, let's see. Let me go ahead and just save it right quick. Get a fresh restart on everything. <laughs> Raz, 50 bucks says Tembo would drive off the cliff. I don't know if he will or not, man. And thank you there for the 50 Canadians, man. Appreciate that, buddy. <laughs> I'm sure he's probably like, yeah, no. Nah. But now, you know, for 50, I mean, he might have to drive off the cliff now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he might just have to do it. <laughs> Shame. What's up, Travis? How are you, man? Thank you there, uh, Raz, again. Appreciate that, Taj. Thank you, guys. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to restart a few things here. Uh, let me go ahead and just get rid of that and restart it again. I'm not sure what happened to that. I've had some issues. I don't know if uh, some of this stuff needs software updates or what. All right, let's get that up and going. All right, so that's good. All right. That's right. It is free. All right. Continue the game. <laughs> well, you know, that's the thing, man. Some nights are really good. Some nights we get nothing, you know. I just, it, like, it's just a part of the... It's a part of it, man. You're really thankful when the stuff comes in, but you can't be salty when, you know, when, when stuff doesn't come in that you, you know, it's, it's, it's just part of it, man. Kind of used to it by now. Let's see if this thing will actually read my, uh, shifter too. That'd be really nice if it does. If not, I'll have to fiddle, fiddle fart around with that some. <clears throat> Nah, it's still not going to work. Actually, you know what? Hang on a second. Let me try something else. <laughs> yeah, I think he's about the only one there, uh, Bubba. He's about the only one that has. Um, the rest of them are still, they still chilling, man. They're still chilling with it, so hopefully, hopefully that'll, uh, yeah, there we go. All right, now we're good. Something about that port it didn't like, so now we should have our stick shift back. Well, I said we would. Must have left it on uh, automatic. What's up, Greg? Uh, it's going well, man. All right, I'm going to have to figure out what it did there because I've done something and screwed it up. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what I did. That sucks. Um, all this stuff is right, though. <sighs> okay. It's a signing. I just don't have it right set in the game. I don't know exactly what happened there. Eating Fuller 18, clutch and throttle. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe this is why. Oh, you dope. Uh, oh, that's why. Okay. All right. Now, now let's 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 hear. I'm gonna have to do this now. I know why this one was set up. For, oh my gosh, this was set up for our uh, convoy stuff. So hang on. I should have put this in there, man. <laughs> we'll do this, you know, an hour and 15 minutes into it. It's like, oh, yeah, I forgot to do this. Uh, I've got about four or five profiles, and I forgot to shove all this stuff into the other one. So, my bad, guys. I'm sorry. Greg. <laughs> oh, I remember that, Greg. Holy crap, man. 
that right there is uh that is funny it still is not liking this okay i don't know i'm just going to go back to automatic i had to fiddle fiddle with it again it's something uh yeah it's not reading my 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 shifter obviously because i've got it unplugged all right i'll figure that out no biggie I'll figure it out for tomorrow night. Yeah, well, I well part of it I need to go back through and reassign everything because now I've got it actually plugged all into the wheel now. This is the old config file, so I have this one plugged up with. Um, uh, this is this is the same one that I used to run with Thrustmaster. So I got the wheel over, but I didn't bring the rest of the stuff with it. So is that uh, Frosty Snipes? Is that right? Thing man, Raj, it's really good right now, man. Uh, it is really, 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 really good. Um, we're right now at Denver International Airport, and I've, I've told these guys a little bit here as we've kind of run through some of this. We get to see some of the, just more of the flatter section of the northern uh, part of the state, maybe a little bit of the eastern part. Um, it's not, this one's actually a pretty short, short little trip. Thank you there, peace. Appreciate the sub, man. Tell you, reaching up there for that shifter all the time now. All right, it's got about uh, 118 miles here. I think uh, I'll try to plan it out tomorrow. I think our first one, because uh, I'll try to drive every night. We'll try to do a couple of things different. I'm not going to do, um, I'm not going to make the videos too long, just so guys that are coming back might want to, you know, watch them and maybe a two, three hour stream is like a total turn off. Uh, so what I'll do is we'll, we'll try to pick a couple of pointed areas to go in every single night when we roll into this. So thank you there, G uh, Gomez, Allen. Thank you guys. Whoa, as we pile in the back of that one thank you there donnie appreciate it man yeah now now we're now we're now we're drunk live but hey that at least ought to that, that ought to at least count for about 600 more viewers man uh trip we are uh yeah i don't know we're like 170 something in his oh yeah beast we'll, we'll get there man let's get through this main little section here we pretty much run in third person most of the day so <laughs> Will says, yeah, drive off a cliff. You can't actually drive off these cliffs because they put barriers there. Because they knew somebody would do it. So. <laughs> uh, Bubba, we will probably do convoys whenever they upgrade to 139. Because the DLC is going to come out. Everybody's going to buy the DLC. Um, and then mods will start to update. And then we'll just have to wait on uh, we'll have to wait on TMP, man. By the way, for you guys that want to do this. So we... Uh, we have been averaging anywhere between 65 to 90 truck convoys the past month or so. Um, and, uh, and so we were approached there from some guys at TMP uh, to, that we can probably, at this point, we can safely get our own event server. So um, we are going to be having some, hopefully, some massive uh, events. They're always on Saturday night. Uh, so if you guys are interested in joining us with those, um, make sure you join the Discord if you want to come ride with us. It'll be free and open to everybody. We're not going to close it off to anybody, but if you guys... Uh, it does, yeah, double if I want to. If I don't switch it out, it will. Um, but if, if you guys want to uh, to join us on those, then uh, yeah, make, sure you join the, make sure you join the Discord. Uh, and then we'll... Uh, I'll put all of my stuff up there in the official Convoy channel. You can't miss it, uh, but I'll put everything in there for Fridays. ETS 2, Saturdays are ETS, and then anybody can join us for those. So... Those are not those are not you know held to just uh, a couple of uh, you know our, our normal our normal company guys. So anyway, there yeah a little bit there, Henry. It's not really too bad, honestly. It's uh it's the forty thousand, so we're only two thousand two thousand pounds more than where we were before. So <laughs> yeah, man, I did I did uh, yeah I did see that, Chris. Um, I have not gotten around to getting that updated yet. So that's good, man um we'll uh so we come back in probably on thursday we'll probably have a few new mods uh updated that we can roll we'll probably roll a few things here but at least from tonight 
uh, on in through this weekend. I plan on trying to get some more streams done. Uh, so we'll try to stream every night this week. So if you guys want to see some more Colorado, you want to see some more, uh, ask some more questions. Maybe if you didn't even, you know, if you're just now getting in this, but you want to see the first part, we'll probably go back through and maybe check another, um, you know, a couple more spots out there. So I know, I know it's junior. This has been one of those, like my track hour went out and then I restarted. And then this was not even assigned right. So I'm like, I'm just. That's one of those like today. Yeah, we're just uh, I'll, I'll I'll fiddle with it here after streaming. It'll we'll be back in there tomorrow. It feels weird driving an automatic too, man. I can't tell you the last time I actually drove an automatic. What's up, Devin? How are man? It's snow globe. I don't know. You get us what with, with my 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 logo in the middle of it. If it gives you a zip folder, just put the zip in there, Trip. Yeah, it, yeah, man. Early access first wave with the big dogs, man. Squirrel and um, all of those guys, man. So Saturday, Saturday of what, midnight? So yeah, man. I was pretty excited, man. We've been streaming, uh, we've been streaming ATS for quite some time, man. So it's always nice, man, when the devs, you know, kind of, you know, recognize you for uh you know for doing good work with the game and stuff so so those things right there are all animated so i'm sure guys will ask but those are all animated on those uh field irrigation systems which are pretty awesome and there's a couple of roads in here you'll see that there's uh there's a lot of these we're on interstate 70 this is leading us south out of denver international so i can't i don't know if we're actually going into a city um or we're going kind of in between but um Yeah, well, I know. Well, I know pretty much if uh, you know pretty much if any of them, uh, uh, they're Geek Squad. I mean, most people like to see me shift it, you know, while I'm while I'm playing. So I, I normally never do have it in automatic, so it feels weird to actually be driving automatic. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Brittany Bolden? See my message? Yeah. Hello. Hey. Yeah, that would be kind of tough. You know what? Actually, it would be pretty awesome. Pretty, be pretty, pretty awesome if I actually nailed that. <laughs> oh, nice man. Good Raz. Oh, good. I'm glad you got it. Which one'd you get? Did you get the uh, performance ones off the United Logistics ones? <laughs> Thanks, Timbo. I figured that's what happened. <laughs> hey, what's up, Louie? All right, is that li is that Lyman or Limon? Probably not Limon, but it, maybe it is. Who knows? Oh, sweet man, is it good? Because I know it's a performance hoodie. I've got my old ones, but I have not bought the performance hoodie yet. Mainly because I think when I did that, it was like the middle of the summer. <laughs> was like, yeah, it's too hot. <laughs> What's up, Thomas? I don't know, man. Nothing, absolutely nothing is new. And William Akers, man. Oh, yeah, I did get your $2. I, I saw that and I was like, wait a minute. Did I get Wills? Look at that guy just drove through the barrier. It's not fair. What's up, Matt Ramos? How are you, man? Truck sounds not working on the update there, Kyler, because uh, they messed with the sounds from the F mod perspective. So they've done some rebalancing to that and added some uh, a separated truck turbo sound so that's why all your sounds went uh you'll have to wait till those trucks are either updated to 139 uh or the sound packs that they use are updated to 139 so yeah that's why you lost your sound you could sell at least your engines and get the stock engines that go with them and you'd be good Uh, Pro Mods will only be, yeah, so yeah, Pro Mods 138, 2.50, yes, that will work, 2.51 will be for 139, so, the, and I don't, 
think they'll they'll work intermittently, uh, intermingling between the two. <laughs> uh, we, we probably won't go too much longer on this one because we'll. Uh, oh, there's some new trailer skins for the North American mining and something uh, equipment, something, something. Can't remember. Yeah, they'll all update, Thomas. Uh oh, uh, way station. Oh, bird. What's up, man? Boy, it's been a long time. Oh, they wanted me to pull in for the. Uh, <laughs> let me pull in and grab a uh, way station. But uh, yeah. Uh, it might be a little bug there, so I might actually send that one to them because that one's kind of a, a biggie. There is no way station on that road that we're on, but the way station's out here on the interstate, which is actually a pretty big one. I like it, man. I like it. So it's nice, even when the uh, you know when even a lot of this stuff gets a gets a massive up. But you guys can see what I mean on the east side of the state, man. A lot. Flat and straight, which I don't know. Like, so these loads are on the default. So these come uh, with the new heavy haul trailers. They've added a couple of uh, engine. Uh, uh, what do you call these turbines? They've got the turbine engine and then the nacelle. Uh, they've added a few more. The forestry loads come on these trailers. So these are the new heavy hauler trailers that you get that are default ownable uh, with uh, with one three nine now. Which is pretty awesome. Which is pretty cool because we're taking them to a power plant that actually uh, Vitas Power, which actually has uh, some big old cranes installing uh, some. This is cool. This is cool. This was, I'm glad you guys got to see this because this is something totally brand new. I I would imagine they would harsh, oh, man. It's like, yeah, I like those. Yeah, so we'll uh, we'll recap here in just a minute once we uh, get dropped off here. We'll recap some of this ladder stuff here. Uh, not on my last one, Bubba, but so... So when you join the Discord, if you haven't, um, there once you join in the community, it's gonna, uh, community server is going to pop you up a little thing. And there's a whole channel of goodies where I have skins, I have trailer skins, I've got everything. So uh, those mud flaps may have, you may have been watching the video with I did. Uh, the only mud flaps I've ever done are um, the Kenworth by John Ruda, and you can download those in the Discord. So, oh, so what in the bug? Okay, got you. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. Now, I got to say, man, that's pretty flipping cool. I mean, I don't care if you're a solar guy or not. That's, that's, that's pretty legit. Whoops. <laughs> the level of focus this is taken. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. I bet we're going to have to...
All right, let's see where they want that. Uh, oh. Yes, sir. Boy, we're talking about squeezing it in. Oh, my goodness. Nobody say nothing. Nobody say anything. Devin, what's going on, pal? Uh, yes, Bear. I've seen some of his. We always we always support Creech. Uh, Robin Ike has just got his 139 stuff updated, so that's another... Oh! That's another good one for the bag. I'll tell you what, if you had a triple in here, this would be a tough place to pull in here. Yes, you can deliver crane parts now. So they, they don't have the blades unless they add to the special transport. I would imagine that would be a special transport load, but I don't think they have it. Um, now, most of this is going to be this one, the nacelle, and there's one other piece. I think it's just like one of the extension pieces, uh, like that one right there. Well, I guess that's actually kind of what we got here. Yeah, there's there's two pieces that we can do now. Uh, and those come as a part of the new ownership uh, trailers for the 139, which is pretty slick. They kind of snuck that one in. I don't think anybody was really uh, expecting them to put any extra loads and stuff. So you can carry all of the other standard ones we had before, plus you can carry the forestry ones. They all show up on these trailers as well, which is pretty nice. Andy Gamer 80 official, what's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, gosh, I did it by pure habit. Let's see if I can. Uh... Hey, what's up, Jake? Struggling hour, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, man. This is uh, by far, man. This is the best DLC they've done. And, and I don't, I don't really say that lightly. Um, I'm usually pretty hard on SCS. I really am. I'll be honest about that, because it's you know you can pretty much tell that from my videos. <laughs> I can be pretty harsh on them, but for the most part, man, I, I would say that this is by far the best work they've ever done on a uh, DLC for ATS. You know, let me now what what would really be cool is if they allowed us to haul this big old thing here on a special transport that would be awesome There you go. Perfecto. All right. There we go. <clears throat> Airbags? What, like automatic lowering and lifting? No. I don't think so. Colorado comes out Thursday. So let's do a little bit of recap. Um, so <clears throat> let me show you guys the map here. And I'll kind of just give you a little bit of it. Just our initial... You know, our initial thoughts, initial initial feels on this. Um, <clears throat> you got a couple different companies out. So one of these, and we're going to probably either deliver to or um, we'll deliver from. We'll deliver from the mining area, and then we'll maybe take some of these nice kind of crazy roads through here. There's actually uh, up through Steamboat all the way into Fort Collins is really cool. So I'm going to save that whole stretch. Um, you'll get to see some highway. We'll go through Steamboat, and then we'll end in Fort Collins or Sterling. That's a really good one. Um, the reason why we kind of said that Wyoming would be the next one, or at least would make the most sense. I know people are like, oh, well, Texas, but I don't know for the size, for the time it would take to do it. You can see how much more road area already that there is in here than there was in New Mexico. New Mexico still, at least at the time, we thought was really good. They have since added some more roads into Arizona to kind of help fill it out. Um, but you can see here that Colorado Road is actually really, really, really piled in, So, which is really good. There's a lot of roads. There's a lot of to's and from's. If you want to go north, south, east, west, there's a tons of different places to go. And if you want a detour and you want to go down a particular road, I like the fact that with this deal, so you can do that. Um, you know, I'm thinking like for our convoys and stuff, like if we want to start up here and start in Sterling, um, we can keep this interstate if we want to. We can just come down the 25. We can go across the 70. 
Um, but if we want to come down to Colorado Springs, hit Pueblo, and then take a left, and then and then come down through Durango and just hit the Million Dollar Highway and everything, uh, and then take it down further in through uh, through Arizona and stuff, we can do that. So, you know, from the perspective of how cool it is to add some of these things, I do see some some. If you ever look at maps the way SES does them, if you ever notice these outlier maps, they have this square, and then they have the built-in um, you know transitions. And then those transitions never go anywhere. So you see how we've got roads here on these edges. Um, all of these edges have roads built into them, like right here. And there'll be a barrier. There'll be a little bit of road, and then it'll stop. And all that's doing is setting themselves up to go into Wyoming. Um, there's really nothing. There is a few things up here at Grangeville, Montana. You've got Coeur d'Alene here. It's got the little edging here at Plaster and Sons. But there's not a ton that's leading them right now into Montana. So it would make the most sense if they wanted to combine everything they've got now. If they went from um, if they went from Colorado, they could go to hit Wyoming and then they could hit Montana, and that would basically build in you know almost half of the actual landmass. I mean, of course, you got a little bit more, but this would be at least thirty some percent of the map would be complete, and then they could start in Texas if they wanted to, or they could just go across and then come right down this strip and just do it, you know, like a zigzag all the way through. So I don't know. It's just my personal opinion on that. It would be cool to have that because you would be able to join Idaho. You'd be able to join Utah and you'd be able to join all of that together with Colorado, which would be pretty freaking snazzy. So, um, but yes. Yeah, so anyway, I will be back. We're going to go back some more with this tomorrow. Cause I, I think that Fort Collins to Rangeley is going to be really nice. Um, and uh, there'll be a nice transition out of Utah into this, and that way you guys can see some more. But you can see, even with the driving we did tonight, we only like we only put we we put a dart on the board. That's it, um, a lot. So uh, if you're not going to come back, and you'll know what is your overall thought, man, just from what you've seen, I love it. It's a great DLC, and I really am being honest when I say this. I'm not just doing this because um, you know SES threw a key and said, "Hey, promote the game." Uh, basically, hey, drive this, upload content, do what you want to do, give honest opinions on it, uh, and I literally am giving. If you guys have watched me for any amount of time, you know that I don't pretty much hold back when it comes to things that, uh, of course, I'm always respectful about it, but if there's things I don't like and I find aggravating every time we have to go through this, um, then I usually am pretty vocal about it. Uh, but for these, man, I th this is one of those where it's really, really, really good, and I'm really happy that they've done a really jam-up job with this because I think there's a, quite a few guys especially in our uh, neck of the woods and in our Discord that really um, have been a little bit kind of put off by the way the DLCs have kind of rolled out. Um, they've been a little bit lackluster. They just haven't had that pizzazz. And it might just be that the states themselves just weren't pretty. And I hate to say that, you know, everyone's loving and ready for Texas to come out, but I'm like, Texas is not all that pretty. And so I'm kind of curious if people are going to be kind of like shove off about it because it's going to be long, flat, straight, pass through road, you know. So um, this one in itself, though, has a lot to offer uh, the ATS driver that wants to sit around, that wants to drive through some of these things, wants to experience some of these passes, have some challenge, have some way different change of the scenery. I mean, everything from like wide open vastness, you know, interstate driving like through the 70 for out of Burlington back into like Sterling. If you're on that part of 76, like it's wide open and then all the way to climbing up the mountain on the side of the, on the West side of the state. So there is a, um, there is a really, 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 really nice things in here. A Texas might be nice if you know how to run, but, um, you've got to, you've got to think though on Texas, you're not going to have Texas natives are going to be developing that map. I mean, it's going to be Europeans developing what they see in Texas uh, and what they see the cities, I hope the cities will probably be nice. I'm just worried about that point A to point B. Um, so the guys that just like running miles and miles and miles of road, they'll love it. And then the other guys like myself that really like, you know, integral roads, changes of sceneries and stuff like I'm just afraid it's not going to be what the community as a whole thinks it's going to be. That's that's all I'm saying. Um, and something like this adds total you know this total kind of a one over package for really the community as a whole because no matter how you want to do it if you just want to pass through colorado and just want to drive the interstate you can um and you're totally like you know uh, you know obligated you can do that so uh it's kind of nice that it really offers so much uh for every single driver 
Um, and part of that's just because, like I said, it's a really cool state and it's got a lot to offer when it comes to road choice. That's basically all, you know, when you got like half the Rocky Mountains and like half the Midwest Plains, like, you know, well, I mean, you kind of do at that point, you're, uh, you're pretty much, uh, you know, <laughs> you're giving it all. Negative, typical Jaden Matthews. Appreciate it, man. Uh, so yes, yeah, so this is, this is legit, man. I, I really can't, I can't say that enough. It really is legit. I, I'm super stoked. They did a really good job on this. Um, cause I think they needed to, I think we'd seen road to the East. We've seen, I mean, uh, road to the, uh, with the black sea, uh, we've seen that DLC we've seen with the Baltic sea. If you're an ETS two follower, you may not know what those are, but those are the two latest DLCs. Iberia is fixing a drop sometime fairly soon. Those are huge DLCs that um and they are humongous and no doubt that the Iberia DLC is going to be fan freaking fantastic. Um so if it's that good then I, it'll be something comparable. I think a lot of ATS guys will have a problem with some of that. Um but the price will be more. Um but I just kind of thought from the ATS community like they needed to do something really good with Colorado and add something really good on the end of this and kind of like rejuvenate the community. Cause if it means driving through Utah, driving through Utah to get to Colorado, I can see those trips being really, really, really nice. Um, and especially for those guys that didn't buy Idaho, but was maybe hoping that Colorado would be good and they would pick up Utah. Make sure that you put this stuff on your wish list. I've got, um, if you click in the description, I've got a couple things for you guys to hit if you want to. Um, obviously, I've got all the normal stuff in there, but I do have a couple links to wish list on this if you want to add it to that. Add those other DLCs on there and put an alert on them for Thursday because I guarantee you for this weekend that all of this stuff's going to go on sale. ATS is going on sale. Um, all of probably Utah, Idaho, maybe the other ones, they'll have bundles up for everything. So like this will be a really, really, really good time to get the DLCs and get it cheap. Most of the time they're either half off 50% or sometimes they'll be as much as 70% off if they're feeling really, 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 um, you know, really, really, uh, good about it. And I'm sure that we'll give away a few of these. On Thursday, I'm always have sponsors coming and say, "Hey, man, let's give some stuff away. Let's give a few copies of this." So even after Colorado, you know, enters, you guys are just here to kind of check it out. You know, maybe you have your other guys that you like watching. Like show up here this weekend. We're probably gonna have some more of these to give away, um, and I'll try to let you guys know we're gonna do that. So anyway, I will be back tomorrow. So don't forget it. We're gonna try that north section there from Range Leader and Fort Collins. If you guys want to check out, it should be another really nice run. And then literally we can pretty much go wherever else we want to. We got a lot to see and a lot to show uh, here before we get down to uh, to Thursday to drop day. So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be good. So thank you guys, appreciate it. Uh, it's good to have all the new guys. Let me run through real quick here, uh, and let's uh, let's just drop back down here to some of these awesome guys. There's some awesome donations tonight. So thank uh, this is really nice. So Walker got to start off there with man with a nice twenty there. Uh, David as well five Canadian dollars. Mike with the big one tonight, man a two hundred dollar. Uh, super chat there for Mike. He's still up in red, still going strong up there. So thank you there, Mike. Appreciate you, man. Send out a trucker with 25. Uh, uh, super chat there. Texas trucker there, man. Appreciate it. As always, Timbo Slice with a 10. E-Man with a 5. Postman with a 5. Brian King with a 10. Worldwide with a 50 and a 25. So thank you there, Worldwide 007, man. Uh, these some of these guys are sponsor the stream. They're already, uh, you know, sponsored me well here during the week. So thank you, guys. Nick Walter, man, for a 30 there. Uh, appreciate you, Nick and uh, Raz. Thank you there for the 50 Canadians. Appreciate it, man. Uh, William and Louis Truck in there with a couple of, of uh, $2 uh, tips there on the way out, man. So thank you guys, man. Appreciate it very much. We will be back tomorrow. So don't forget, I will try to do the same time. So 9.30 tomorrow night. I'm going to try to get started just a wee bit earlier. Um, so thank you guys. Thanks for all the new subs, man. Thanks for all the new viewers, man. Uh, there's a there's a fist bump there from Cecil, man. Appreciate it, Cecil. Uh, thanks all the mods. Thank you guys for coming in and hanging out and uh, and keeping some of these guys uh, and keeping some of them at bay, man. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> so uh, anyway, you guys have a great night, uh, and I will see you guys here tomorrow night. It's tomorrow night, guys. See you guys. Peace out. There it is. Get that one last shout out there, Cecil. Thank you guys. We'll see you tomorrow night.